Welcome back, this is Yamjack. Today we got Gunslinger Corridor Suicidal. Yeah, we're just doing a quicker map. Because look, I don't have the ability to stay awake right now. And here come your first targets. It's bad, man. I don't know. Last time I was tired like this wasn't that long ago, to be honest with you. It's happened in recent memory. Um, I think I had a, a time when I was like this tired like a month ago ago, two months ago, something like that. It's not often for me. It's, it's unusual for it to happen this often, in fact. But it's definitely affected the recording a couple of times. But, you know, whatever. It is what it is, right? Um... So I read Asuperu Kanojo uh, last night, Asperger's girlfriend, kind of. More like Asperger's girl, really, but Kanojo, uh, Kanojo kind of means uh, like girlfriend kind of connotations to it. Um, it was really good. I really should have bought a block so I can spam. Spray and pray, dude. It was really good. As Asuperu Kanojo, uh, Kano, Kanojo. Um, yeah. Really, really good. It's about a girl who has Aspergers and uh, OCD and PTSD and uh, she uh, she lives her life, kind of. Um, and, and things happen, but uh, it's really, really, really good. And as somebody who lives with Asperger's myself, it's like probably one of the most accurate representations of Asperger's in like any media I've ever seen before. Um, so if you're interested in what it's like, um, like at all, even if you don't read manga, if you're just interested in like what it's like, then, uh, like, I, I, I highly recommend you read it. It's, uh, it, it's a fantastic showing of, um, like, all the things about Asperger's, um, and, and OCD and PTSD and, and all these things. It's, it's fantastic. It does, it does it in just a really, really, really good way. Um, the flip side of that is that it's fairly dark, it's pretty bleak. Happiness isn't really the goal. Um, what the goal is not dying. Um, but you know, and that, that's kind of why, like Aspergers and autism and like mental illnesses in general aren't really represented accurately in media, is because if you do that, then they're not happy endings usually. <laughs> like, sorry, but, like, it, it's not a very, like, happy, in, in, you know, interesting story outside of the fact that it's it's going over these, these topics, but, you know, a lot of people aren't going to be interested in that. Um, because it's not exciting and fun and, you know, that, because that's not what living with Asperger's is like. It's not exciting and it's not fun. It's, it sucks terrible and um, so, you know a lot of the time they just brush over it and, and don't really show it accurately um, because if they show it accurately then all of a sudden the show's not fun anymore as the Kanojo did not do that they went full force on like let's do this as accurately as possible they made a fairly interesting story out of it as well um, and yeah, it's just, it's just really, really good. It, it, it's the best representation of Asperger's I've ever seen in any media. Like, at all. Like, not even just manga. Not even just, like, Asian media. But, like, just period. Any media. Like, any books, movies, TV shows, anime, manga, manhwa, novels, like, whatever. It, it, it's, it's the best. It does it so 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 well. So again, if you're if you're interested in learning 
what it's like to live with uh, Aspergers, then like Asuperu Kanojo is insanely good. Um, it is a romance. There are some manga elements of it, of course. Um, not really romance so much, I guess, but. Um, yeah, there, there are some manga elements, but it, it's still just like so good. It's amazing. Um, but uh, it, it shows like what it's like to live when you're. When you, when you don't have the support that you need. Like, I, I've, I've gotten the support that, that I, I needed, and I have, you know, a support structure, and I have, you know, the things that I need to be able to, to function at least with some modicum of decency, I suppose. But before all that happened, no, it was a mess. It was panic attacks all the time. It was um, just anxiety, despair. Um, I was rude and blunt and... You know, like everything that it's doing, and it's just like it's so cool to see that represented so accurately um, in in a piece of media. It really, really is. I can't kill, but I can't see. We're not. Yeah, it, it shows exactly what it's like, with 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 no sugarcoating, no avoiding the topics. Like it's this is what it's like. This is this is what people with Aspergers are going through. This is what like I went through when I was growing up. This is what like almost anybody with Asperger's is going to experience at, you know, before they get the help that they need. And uh, it, it's so cool to see that because so often it, it's not portrayed. It's either, you know, you get the really, really, really bad stuff, you know, nonverbal, um, you know, um, like just obviously like this person has autism kind of thing or you get the like Sheldon from the Big Bang Theory where you know they're just a little bit weird um, but you, you don't like often get it where they're showing somebody who's genuinely got Asperger's and like is actually having to deal with all the things that come with that and uh, you know is, is People aren't gonna notice that you have it. They're not gonna just immediately tell that you're you're. They're, they're just gonna think you're some weirdo. They're gonna think that you're some freak, and it, it it's really really hard to deal with that when you're growing up, and uh, it's not fun to read if if uh, if you have troubles with that kind of stuff for sure. But like that's what it's like. You know, a life with Aspergers isn't fun. Before you get the help you need, and you know nowadays I have fun. I have a good time, but. Before I got the help I needed, it, it really wasn't. Anyway, go read Asuperu Kanojo if you're interested in seeing what Asperger's is like, because it's, it's such a great representation. Bye.